Hey everybody, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing. I'm continuing my series called How to Sing Like. Next up, Robert Plant from Led Zeppelin. So uh, if you guys are ready, uh, let's get started. But before we do that, if you wouldn't mind, uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. That'd be really cool. And uh, don't forget to ring that bell so that I can keep new cool videos coming your way. And I have a singing course, and that course is called How to Sing Better than anyone else. You can find it right here at KenTamplinVocalAcademy.com, again, where the proof is in the singing. I wanna help you learn how these guys got to be great in hopes to help make you great, okay? Now, before we get going here, I wanna talk about Robert Plant's uniqueness. Robert set the bar so high for difficult high range singing that um, it's a pretty interesting or it will be a pretty interesting thing to show you guys some of the different places that he sang that may not be quite what you think they are and I'm going to show you how you can get to those places too. Now I cover all this in my singing course but I'm going to give you some snapshots along the way. So I'm going to start, I have, I, by the way I'm getting to be older so I have to use my spectacles, um, but I want to start uh, first on some of the more mellow kind of acoustic things and then how he applied some of the more acoustic folk side of what he did uh, to also hard rock singing. So first up is uh, going to California and I did some versions of this myself just to showcase it. Here we go. Spend my days with a woman unkind, smoke my stuff and drank all my wine. Made up my mind to make a new start I'm going to California with a naked in my heart Now, I'm actually singing even heavier than he did I spend my days with a woman unkind Smoke my stuff and drink Oh my wine. If you notice, I have more girth to my voice, my fatness on the bottom, and he doesn't. He's got a very, very small sound. So I have to work extra hard to not oversing the bottom and not carry that girth and that weight up with me. Otherwise, I'm going to get caught in the middle of the chord somewhere up the food chain and won't be able to hit the high notes. So let's continue. Here we go. Someone told me there's a girl out there with love in her eyes and flowers in her hair. Great song, right? What great songs these were. That Zeppelin was so great. Took my chances on a big jet plane Never let him tell you that we're all the same Now Robert did that a lot. He kind of whined uh, All the same He would be kind of whine into some of his sounds But that's actually a technique. That technique is, is kind of yawning Creating space All the same to thin out the sound, make it nice and small, and place it really high up in the throat using mask and, and whining or yawning into that space. So you hear him doing that a lot, actually, and I'm using the same technique to sound like him in order to be able to make that same vowel placement that he's using. The sea was red and the sky was gray. I wondered how tomorrow could ever follow today. Right, I'm actually using a lot, I'm kind of going into my head voice a little bit and I'm mixing up top, so I'm not dragging so much girth again up to the top to be too big on the sound, because that's not Robert's thing, he didn't do that. Now, I do do that sometimes for effect, because I like it, I like a big sound up top, but if you notice, his sounds are really, really small, so he's not trying to get a big sound up top, it's just the way he sings, right? But I have a bigger voice, so I have to figure out how to make it smaller in order to be able to get to this. Now, I cover this in my singing course, I call it Little Boy, voice so I have to set my voice up really high to get into these places and be real tubular and small on the sound mountains in the canyon start to tremble and shake the children of the sun begin 
to wake. Now, I want you guys to practice something. The mountain, uh, mountains and the canyons start to tremble and shake. The children of the sun begin to wake. Right? So I want you guys to like kind of find yourself like this, you know. The sea was red and the sky was gray. I want it out tomorrow. Right? I want you to kind of sing like this just for a little bit and humor yourself and you'll see how he stays real small. Instead of, the mountains in the canyons start to tremble and shake. The children of the sun begin to wake. Right? I'm not using all the ho oh sound. I'm making it sound small because I know I got to go up in a minute, right? Check this out. Watch out. Seems like the red of the guy's got a punch on my nose and it's starting to flow. I think I might be sinking. Sinking. Throw me a line if I reach it in time. I meet you up there with a path run straight and high. And this is what I mean by being it. I meet you up there. Right, I'm actually mixing my sound. It sounds like I'm belting and pulling chest all the way up, but I'm not. I'm actually mixing, and I'm about 50-50. I'm about 50% chest, 50% head. Now, I cover this very specifically in my singing course, how we have to first grow our chest voice, then we have to grow our head voice, then we have to grow our mixed voice and able to, to be able to match these tonal qualities so they're interchangeable and you can't detect or you can't really tell when I'm doing that. But I'm definitely switching back and forth quite a bit. Now, I've got a lot of Zeppelin tunes I want to cover, so that's one of them. Uh, next up, and, I, and I'm, I'm doing this in a very specific sequence so I can show you some stuff here. I'm going to do the Immigrant song because some, there's some similarities to this also, so check this out. Now, if you notice, I take some liberty, and you know, um, the vibe, the horns, singing, crying, Valhalla, I'm coming, right? I'm taking a little bit more of a David Coverdale approach to this on this section, because I like it to sound fatter on the bottom. Robert Plant doesn't do that, because he doesn't have that kind of voice, right? So I'm, I'm taking the liberty of sounding like Ken Templin, because I like it, but I have to thin out the sound again, bring it up in here, and I'm mixing the sound again. I'm not belting, I'm actually about a 50-50% mix. Listen really closely. <laughs> Right? I'm almost entirely in head voice at the very top note, and I'm using percentages of chest and head as I'm going through this, right? So that is the immigrant song, and that's how Robert does it too. He uses a lot of head voice. A lot of times it sounds like he's pulling chest, when in fact he's really using a lot of head voice in his sound. You can really hear this too. If you pull down some of Robert's live stuff, um, you're gonna notice that Robert actually, um, uh, his, he gets caught, kind of like Brian Johnson when he's singing ACDC, he gets caught and he can't go up to get those notes when he's locked down the larynx, when he's been in a belting position, a chest belting position, he can't release and relax. If you understand how to do this correctly and release through the passaggio and get into head voice, you can control that and relax the passage. You relax, excuse me, the larynx to not let that happen as you're going through the passaggio, and then be able to get both chest and head mix and have a lot of range without getting stuck and feel like you're hitting a, a ceiling and you can't unlock your vocal fold. So anyway, actually, I I, uh, I I pulled up another one of my tunes. I wanted to show you how this applies to to women also. So um, I did a version of Black Dog with Katie, uh, and I'm gonna get to since I've been loving you in a minute. But I want to check this out. Watch this. Hey, hey, mama, set the way you move. Gonna make you sweat. Gonna make you groove. This is how a girl would approach it, right? If she's doing it right. A hot child, the way you shake that.
Now you can see how she's actually belting through the whole thing. She's not using any head voice at all, which is cool because girls' voices are higher. But let's face it, Robert Plant was also gifted with a really naturally high voice too. So his voice, his, the, the, his range is technically more in a female soprano or definitely a, a, an alto kind of range like Katie. And Katie's actually got a little more fatness to her sound, I think in some spots that even Robert does as a girl, that's really unusual. So um, I think that's awesome. I just wanted to demonstrate that this doesn't just apply to guys, it also applies to girls, and we can see that with another one of my students. So um, now, now the other thing too is, is I can, you know, um, but I, I don't wanna sound just like Robert, I wanna sound like myself. So can you give me an example of, of how that would apply? Yeah, I absolutely can. In fact, um, I wanna go ahead and show you two things, one is, First thing is, since I've been loving you, I just did this a few weeks ago and posted it, but I sing it like Ken Tamplin. I don't sing it like Robert Plant, but I hit all of his notes and then some, but I wanted to have a, like more of a roaring lion sound compared to since I've been loving you, his version is extremely small and he uses a lot of head voice. Now, most of what I'm using is head voice, brought down into the chest register, but you can't really tell because I've grown my head voice so much, it's very deceiving and it sounds like I'm pulling chest and belting through this when in fact a lot of this stuff is head voice. Check it out. Now I'll put all these in the description so you can see the full versions of these and kind of you know go through with your microscope or you know your magnifying glass and check them out on your own, but here we go. You can scrutinize them yourself. This is about a minute 30 into the song. point. You can hear me going from chest to head to chest to head and I'm going back and forth seamlessly and you can't tell. Now, if I were trying to pull that much chest up top, I would be next to impossible. I mean, I can do a lot of it, but you're 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 deadlifting 100,000 pounds when you do that. I actually did do that to a large extent in Painkiller by Rob Halford. I don't know if you guys want to check it out because Rob does that whole entire song almost entirely in head voice and I wanted to kind of man up to it just for fun and do most of it in chest so it's a different kind of sound. It's like pulling kind of the meat and potatoes up top and just really throwing down hard. So anyway, that's another example. But like I said, now before I get too too into this, um, I want to point out two more things. One is that, and I did I did a cashmere version. Let's see, do I have that up? Uh, I did ramble on too, so you can hear, you know, again, the acoustic side. Leaves are falling all around. Real sensitive. It's time I was on my way. On my way. Staying small on the sound. Thanks to you, I'm much obliged. Such a pleasant stay. Now it's time for me to go The autumn moon lights my way Now I smell the rain And with it pain And it's headed my way And you can listen to the rest of this tune. Now all of that is a belted chest sound, a pulled chest sound, because Robert does that. In his version, he's singing in a belted chest sound. So this is an example where I'm not using head voice, I'm belting through the whole song, okay? So that's that's another example. Now here's another tune. I know you guys know this, this is Whole Lot of Love. Um, I'm gonna show you this. I chose to keep a belted Coverdale sound. I wanted to sound more like Ken Tamplin in this tune. So check this, check this out here.
Okay, so there's that. Again, I'll put that in the description as well. And then then um, there's, I did another version. I did cashmere also, but I did cashmere more like if Dio, Coverdale, Paul Rogers and Glenn Hughes were to sing Cashmere. So I didn't sing Cashmere at all like Robert Plant. I sang it like Ken Tamplin. I was gonna play that here and show it to you, but I thought, well, that doesn't really show you how to sing like Robert Plant. It shows you how to sing like Ken Tamplin singing Robert Plant. So if you guys wanna check that out, I'll put that in the description also. But this is how we do it, folks. You know, I have a singing course, like I said, called How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else. And you have to work and actually um, set the voice up for singing in really high tones and get rid of all the weight. Now there's ways to do that. It's a very consistent, consecutive uh, way that we warm up and building blocks, very specific order of building blocks to get the voice to be seated really high to cruises at an altitude that Robert sings at. Once you attain that, once you achieve that, it's not as hard as you think to sing like Robert Plant. You just have to set the voice up for it and know how to do it. So again, I'm doing most of this by request, guys. So if you have a request of a singer that you want me to do, please put that in the description and uh, definitely check out my next video.